Hi friends, it is May 11, and uh, that means we are 30 days into the Grow Lettuce Under Shop Lights experiment. And um, the herbs on the left here are probably a month and a half old, and the lettuce here is uh, 30 days from planting, from seed. And um, the three larger plants are 30 days. The others are uh, reseeded after some past eight, the uh, previous plant. So uh, I looked at the seed, uh, the seed packet, and it says that uh, this type of romaine lettuce is a 70-day lettuce. And uh, so my ideas of having very Fast-growing lettuce uh, turned out probably not to be true. This is a 70-day lettuce. I don't think I'm getting extremely fast growth here. However, you know, a lot of times plants take some time to get to the point uh, where their leaves, first leaves, are developed, and uh, then they really take off. So, um, according to the seed packet, these have 40 days to go. Um, but looking at them, uh, they're the big one is really not that far you know grow a few more leaves uh, grow maybe four inches in height and uh, that would probably be a good harvest there I um, calculated the electrical cost of uh, the light system I have two four bulb fluorescent shop lights and a bubbler and I've been uh, um, measuring the kilowatts used and uh, I pay 10 cents per kilowatt hour and I calculated that uh, this system is costing me ten dollars per month and uh, <clears throat> that's with two lights the second light uh, actually I only used one light for the lettuce and herb grow the other light was used to start plants so um, so for this part of the experiment, you could say this is a $5 a month electric bill. Um, the rest of the costs are very low once you have the bins. Um, the, uh, the cost of the nutrient solution is uh, very low, probably less than a dollar per grow. So... Um, I guess it's a little too early to uh, make some conclusions. I did uh, I did test the parts per million and uh, pH. pH uh, was uh, right near six. Parts per million on the right with the lettuce is uh, nine hundred ninety something, so about a thousand, and the herbs are about twelve hundred. In both both cases, I think they're about. 200 too high, so the herbs normally I would run about a thousand, and uh, the lettuce really 600 to 800 um, at the most. I don't think lettuce needs a high level like that. So the high part per million uh, fertilizer may be actually hurting the lettuce. Uh, I'm going to continue on this uh, this experiment is essentially a, um, a test uh, proof of concept and so far except for pest uh, eating a lot of my plants I, um, I would say the concept is looking pretty good and for this part of the experiment five dollars a month you're gonna uh, pay if it takes two months for the lettuce to mature ten dollars for eight lettuce and to be honest, um, I could probably fit a few more in there, but uh, I think I can uh, grow a dollar per head of lettuce and uh, have some, quite a few herbs to put in the salad too. So I'm um, pretty happy about that. I do have to find a way to start the lettuce, you know, start it two weeks apart and probably have different bins, um, maybe different lights so I can raise and lower the lights to fit the smaller plants. I do have a couple interesting things to show. I had uh, I had put 
some nutrient solution in this uh, setup. I'll back up a little bit. You can see the whole thing. It's uh, I was this was going to be my starting container, and what I found out was this is what happens. This is really fascinating to me. If I wanted to grow algae. I certainly could, and I was going to clean this out days ago, but I wanted to include it in a video. Um, I guess this is my lesson on how quickly algae can grow. This is a couple weeks, probably. These are my plants uh, ready to be hardened off and then uh, planted outside in the garden. Um, I'm waiting. My uh, I've been burned before planting too early. The average day of last frost here is May 15 in southwest Michigan and uh, I've followed that and, and what I do is I look at the weather forecast seven days ahead. Hey, if there's no freezing weather it must be okay, right? Well, I have been burned doing that so what I'm going to do is start hardening off on May 15 and, um, and on May 21, 30 days before the, the equinox um, I will look at the weather report and see if it's safe to put them in the ground full time, but they will be hardened off by then. And then here's what I came up with for starting my lettuce and a few other plants. Um, very simple, there's water in there, just water. The left row is uh, the lettuce seeded, and I have those going. If if the uh, bug eats more of my lettuce plants, I'll have something to replace them with. Um, this is really the way to start start your lettuce plantation is um, just start them off rock wall cubes in water and um, it's pH stabilized water. I, I'm not even sure that makes a difference, but um, two weeks in here from seed maybe even three weeks from seed and uh, then they're ready to go into the uh, full hydroponic system and you just pick up the rock wool cube and drop it in. So 30 days in, I'm not going to make any conclusions yet but it's looking pretty good, I'm pretty happy with both the production and the cost. I haven't harvested any although I have eaten a few sprigs of parsley by uh, just um, breaking them off and eating them. But uh, hopefully the, in the next 30 days we'll be harvesting quite a bit. I'll try to uh, hold off on harvesting until I get videos. But um, so, so far the qu answer to the question, can you grow salad under shop lights? The answer is yes.